Hi friends, my name is Victoria and I'm a mindful movement teacher. Today I have something a little bit different to offer you. I have a very short, very quick 10 minute core challenge that is comprised of just four moves, all of them completely on your back. We'll do about three sets of 30 seconds each, which again is just going to last about 10 minutes. This video is catered to people who are beginners or people who are starting to build core strength. However, anybody can do this. Whether you are wanting to do this before or after your asana practice, you're wanting to learn more about what it means to actually engage your core, or you're in a time crunch or you're in bed and you don't want to get up, then this video is going to be perfect for you. We're not using any tools. You don't need a mat either if you don't have one. You are welcome to play music in the background if you'd like. Um, I'll keep it up to you whether you decide to do that or not. If you're not a beginner, if you are aware of your body autonomy and know what people mean when they say to engage your core, then you can go ahead and skip forward to the actual workout. If not, then we're gonna play around a little bit with our pelvic tilt for just a minute. So when you're ready, I'm gonna have you lay on your back here. Bring the soles of your feet down on the mat, about hips width distance. Just noticing your spine here and you can rest your hands wherever you'd like. So, like I said, we're gonna start to play around with our pelvic tilt. I want you to look at the arch of my back here. I want you to notice the space between my mat and my back. So what I'm doing here is what is called an anterior pelvic tilt. So I'm shifting my hips forward. Imagine your hips are like a bowl, right? So when I do this, the bowl is coming forward, anterior. I'm pressing my tailbone down into the mat and up towards my head. So usually when people have a a underdeveloped core or underdeveloped core strength, they tend to compensate by using their lower back. So this is what tends to happen when you're doing back exercises for your core. I want you to think about doing the opposite when you're working your core. So I want you to think about kind of a posterior pelvic tilt, finding a hollowing out of your belly. So from here, press your tailbone, so the base of your spine, down into the mat and forward towards your heels. So your hip, boy, uh, hip points here at the front are gonna come up and then uh, back towards your head. And then your sternum, so the center of your chest is gonna come up and down towards your knees. So again, noticing that difference between your anterior pelvic tilt and your posterior pelvic tilt. And when you find that posterior pelvic tilt, you're kind of, again, hollowing out your belly, bringing your belly button in towards your spine. And that's where you start to feel your core activation. While I don't want you to find a full posterior pelvic tilt, I don't want you to just think about that motion. Think about playing around here with your pelvis. As we move, I want you to maintain your core engaged. So there's little to no space, as you can see, between your mat and your back. There is no arching of your spine here, pressing your tailbone down and forward towards your heels. So we're gonna get started here. When you're ready, start to set up in your dead bug position, bringing your legs to tabletop, knees on top of your hips, shins parallel to the floor, reach your fingertips up to the ceiling. And again, play around here, anterior, posterior, bring the base of your spine down and forward. From here, when you're ready, take a deep breath in to start and a deep breath out. And then when you're ready, we're gonna get right into it, reaching opposite leg and opposite arm in opposite directions, and then coming back to center, and then reaching out and back to center, taking your time here, going as slowly as you need to. If you need a variation, if you need a little bit more support, you can make a triangle with your hands and bring that to the base of your spine, simply just using your legs if you want a little bit less intensity. If you want a little bit more intensity, think about going even slower. That's gonna fully engage every single muscle. We're done in five, we're done in four, we're done in three, two, let it go, drop your feet. If at any point you feel any tension in your lower back, you have the option to windshield wipe your knees side to side. And we're just taking 15 seconds break, breaks, very 15 second breaks, very quick. We're gonna get right back into it when you're ready, fingertips up or on your spine, wherever it feels good. And we're gonna get right into it here, reaching opposite limbs to opposite directions, making sure your knees don't creep up 
past your hips. So I want you to think about keeping your knees stacked on top of your hips. That's gonna keep that tension in your lower abdominals. Again, press the middle of your back here onto the floor. Hollow out your belly, we're almost there. And then use your exhales as you contract. Just five more. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one, let it go. Yeah, so as we move here, I want you to focus that on your breathing. Continue to breathe. It's gonna be even harder if you hold your breath in. So every time you contract, use your exhales, release any tension, any heat, and then on the reset, inhale. Getting right back into it. I know, 15 seconds fly by. And from when, um, when you're ready, start in your dead bugs. If you are fine, or if you're using your variation, maybe you try to do one rep here with a little bit more intensity, just noticing what that feels like. If you don't like it, you can always go back to your initial shape or form. Again, make sure you are breathing. We're done in five. We're done in four. Last three. Last two, can you give me just one more? And then let it go. We're done with our dead bugs. We're gonna find our tabletop crunches now. So keeping our legs in tabletop, hands behind your head, elbows wide. From here, when you're ready, start to lift, curl your shoulders up and then lower. Lift up and then lower. Thinking about an upward motion rather than a forward motion. So think about bringing your nose up to the ceiling rather than forward towards your thighs. That's gonna keep the engagement in your abdominals rather than using neck, your neck here. Keep your elbows wide, chin away from your chest. Lift up, just five more. Last four, last three, yes you can. Last two, and last one. Let it go. For these, if you need a little bit more support, again, you can just keep your arms out, um, out in front of you and lift up. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, every time you lower, tap your toes onto the mat. We're gonna come right back into it, choosing whatever variation you'd like, and then we can start. Again, upward rather than forward. Keep your knees tacked on top of your hips, as tempting as it is to bring them forward. Let's just gonna be cheating. Use your exhales as you lift. Yes, you can. Again, making sure that you're not arching your spine, just five more. Last four, last three, last two. Last one, let it go. Whew, these are a little bit tougher than your dead bugs, but we're almost halfway done here. If you need a windshield, wipe your knees side to side. Feel free to do that. And then when you're ready, getting right back into it. Again, maybe choosing to challenge yourself slightly. Knowing that you're allowed to change your mind. So if you want to try the more challenging option and you don't like it, you're always allowed to change your mind to go back to what you were doing initially. That's the beautiful thing about being on your mat, about exercising in your body is that you have full autonomy. You get to choose what feels good, what doesn't. And that changes every day. Just five more, last four, last three. Last two, last one, let it go. Whew. All right, we're gonna keep the soles of our feet on the mat now. So make sure that you're able to graze your heels, feet or hips with distance. If you need to scoot your shoulders back a little bit more to fully lengthen through your spine, feel free to do that. Extend your arms out in front of you. We're gonna find heel tack, taps when you're ready. Lift your shoulders, lift your nose, reach your fingertips forward, and then start to reach for your heels here. Keeping your chin away from your chest. Staying with the slow and steady motion. 
using your exhales. And if you need a variation, you have the option to keep your head and shoulders on the mat, still extend your arms out, but think about a slight crunching motion. So you're not gonna have a huge range of motion, but just think about crunching through your obliques, kind of like you're trying to reach for your heels, but you're not really moving much. We're done in five, we're done in four, we're done in three, two, let it go. Making sure you're still breathing. If you do want a challenge, again, keeping your nose up to the ceiling, try to lift your shoulders even more than your initial reps. 15 seconds are over, right back into it. Start to tap opposite heels. So what I mean by that is right here where you are, maybe you try to lift your shoulders one more inch or a quarter more of an inch. Seeing where your mind goes when things start to get challenging. What your inner dialogue is like. The work starts the moment that you want to stop. We're just here for five more. Yes, you can. Last three. Can you give me last two? And last one, let it go. I think I miscounted there, <laughs> but it's okay. We still did about 30 seconds. We just have one more of these. And again, maybe this is a moment that you choose to take more of a challenge. Reach your fingertips forward, lift your shoulders, start here. Keeping your gaze above your knees. Again, thinking about bringing your hip points up and forward towards you and your sternum up and down towards your knees. We're so close to the finish line. Stay with us. Just five more. Last four. Last three. Can you lift up a little bit more for the last two? And last one. Let it go. We just have one more move here. That's it. When you're ready, we're gonna find bicycles. So once again, bringing your legs to tabletop position, bringing your hands behind your head, elbows wide. Start to lift your shoulders up and then cross opposite elbow to opposite knee. Finding your center here. So I want you to, rather than use your momentum, use your strength, staying slow here. We're not really aiming for cardio, we're just aiming for core engagement. Trying to reach your elbow to your knee rather than the other way around. Just five more. Last four, last three, last two. Just finish this last one and then let it go. All right, for these, if you need a variation, again, find that, spine, um, find that support with your triangles under your spine, kind of like our dead bugs, but just alternating your legs a little bit faster. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, again, option to take this even slower, right back into it. We just have two more sets. Again, still thinking about that upward motion, lifting up rather than forward. Use your exhales. Make choices here that you're going to be proud of. Almost there. Just five more. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Let it go. Whew. We just have one more and then we're done. Make sure that you're, again, finding that slight posterior pelvic tilt. I don't want you to start arching your back here. I know it's getting a little bit tiring. It's getting a little bit harder, but we just have one more. That's it. When you're ready, we'll get right into it. Hands behind your head. This is our last one. Can you stick with it? Again, notice where your mind goes when things get challenging. Knowing how you're getting stronger when you take that one more rep, two more reps, when you feel like taking a break and you stay with it, that's how growth happens. We're so close to the finish line. You just need to cross it. Just stay for five more. Last four, last three. Give me just two more, finish this last one and then let it go. 
Bring your knees to your chest, rock side to side, massage your lower back, middle back. Maybe you make circles with your knees going one direction and then going the other direction. And then when you're ready, drop your feet, roll over onto your belly, find your sphinx pose. So bring the tops of your feet down to the mat, forearms parallel out in front of you, fingers wide, and then just press down through your forearms, puff up your chest, feeling that nice stretch here in your abdominals. Maybe you look up, maybe you roll out your neck. Take inventory of your breath here. Maybe you roll out your wrist, staying for just two more rounds of breath. Maybe you shake out your hips. And again, making, off, uh, making choices. And then when you're ready, bring your hands under your shoulders to gently press yourself back up. If you need to take any other stretches, feel free to do that. Other than that, that was it for your very short, very quick 10 minute core challenge. Again, this is up to you if you need to use it as a warm up, as a cool down. If this is the workout in itself, that's more than enough. As always, thank you so much for practicing with me. Until next time, thank you.